agrees. After this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said it at first. Now here was, now there was a set of vessels full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon his and put it to his mouth. Verse 30, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. I want to focus on a couple of words in verse 30. It is finished. And for a subtopic, I am declaring an end to my struggle. This is a time when Christ was hanging on the cross and he's been beaten, he's been hurt, he's been everything that he could possibly have done. And yet and still, he still never said anything. And I want to use this as a reference because I just want to talk to you for a few minutes to let somebody know that it is finished. There comes a time in your life when you have to get to the point and declare that it is finished. We don't have to co continually go on and allow things to mess with our lives, mess with our mind, mess with our family, mess with our children. And all you have to simply say is it is finished. And we're looking at this time because Christ was on the cross. He done bear it all. And now is at the point, is at the end point, when now he's getting ready to take everything that they put on and take it back to him and put it on the mercy seat for you and for me. So look at somebody and say, it is finished. It is finished. With, it's finished. Let's look at, at, at this word, at these words. And I'm, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be long. I think my wife would like that. I'm not going to be long-winded. Uh, let's look at the word struggle. The word struggle simply means to contend with an adversary or opposing force. Simply meaning that things come at you and you thinking that you're strong enough to withstand the struggle, find out that you're not, and you waver and you waddle and you, you, you teeter and you totter and you pretty much fall down because now this struggle is about to overtake you. But as we look at the simple three words, it is finished, meaning you come to a point with this struggle and you've decided that this is it. I've had enough. I don't want to deal with this no more. So I simply came to God and said, Lord, this is as far as I can go, which we know that Christ has been waiting for us to say, this is it. It is finished. There's no more I can do with it. And when it comes down to knowing that it is finished, you then have to worry, not much, but worry and wait for the enemy to really open the gates of hell. Because at that point, now the enemy knows that you are from wherever it could be, gaining some strength, gaining some momentum. Because now that this thing in your life is finished, right before you cross the finish line, he has to throw everything at you to distract you, to, to knock you off of your post, to make you not want to cross over. But I come to tell you that in my life, I can say about me, that it is finished. I've dealt with people that didn't want to conform to the ways of God. It is not my job to make them conform, but I had to let them know that this is as far as I'm going to go with this thing with you. It is finished. Now it's not up to me anymore to deal with you on this, but now it's up to God to do what he does best and give you the turnaround so that you can get to the point and say, it is finished. This is it. I'm through. I'm done. No more do I want to deal with this thing. But we're dealing with people that have 
been tainted, they have been, they're, they're being tormented, they're being torn. And when it comes to a point, they forget all about God. And they want relief, but not that when everything is in their face, the bills, the, uh, that abusive husband, that stalking wife, the kids that drive you crazy, court, everything is in your face. You forget about the one that can change it all. Simply by you saying, it is finished. Now struggle, we all struggle with something. It gets nasty. It gets hard. It's a pain in the neck. And at some point, if you don't have anybody that you can talk to about it, it's a great way on. But when you have somebody that you can share this with that's not going to tell your business anywhere, they become your help. And they give you some strength so you can stand up and say, Whoa, I don't know how much more I can have dealt with that. But thanks to God that you were in my life and I could come to you and say, listen, A, B, C, and D, you didn't judge me. You didn't make me feel like I was less than. You didn't put my business on the street. And that's in the struggle. You then turn around, not forgetting your friends, your family, but then there comes a time when you're standing on your own. And you get a personal visit from God. And he simply wants to know, are you ready to cross over to the land flowing with milk and honey? And being people that we are, something, we kind of stuff. Amen. And we just didn't stop to question. Well, Lord, is that you? I don't know, but uh, is that you? When he's standing before you, even though he looks like you and I, God can use anybody to get his purpose across, to ask you a question. As was right, said, he can show you something. To get you to the point of knowing that the things that have become great weights on your life, it's time to drop them. Leave them where they fall. Bring them to the altar when they get burnt up. So that you too can stand in God's glory and his anointing in other words, it is finished. But the enemy refuses to let you ever feel like it's finished. Because he wants to get in your ear and say, well, it's not really finished. But that's when you grab him by his neck. And you let them know, devil, you're a liar. And the truth ain't in you. It's finished. As a matter of fact, here's your letter. Formal, what's called that? Decree of divorce. I am cutting you because you are my biggest problem. So it's finished. It's done. It's over. And the enemy, as we know, he has an attitude now. Because now you're turning him down. You're cutting him loose. And now he has to do whatever he can to get you back. But I know Christ said if you labor and you're downtrodden with the vicissitudes of life, come unto me. Because I'm going to give you some rest. Yes. And I'm going to allow you to say to the enemy in his face, it is finished. You're going to tell him, Jesus, 
You're going to let that guy know it is finished. You've abused me long enough. You're going to tell him credit. I'm done with you. You've abused me long enough. It's finished. In school. Mm. Lord, have mercy. The kids be able to say, it is finished. I don't have to deal with that no more. Because God gave me something that I can use, that I can walk upright. I can look this thing in the face and just walk past it. It's finished. Finished simply means ended or complete. What if you complete it in your life these days? What is at the end? So you can begin anew. Right. It. That thing. It's bothering. That thing that keeps poking. That thing.
that they call a brother back when he, because you haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. Out of the one that played around with all the women in the church. Oh. Let's just be real about this. I was the one that, that started looking at the little boys all fun. But then Christ came by, made a personal appearance to me, forgave me, allowed me another chance, and simply said, it is finished. really got to the end of the group because we'll say it right, right. many times but don't mean it. Right. We're in the house of God and we'll tell somebody you know I'm, I'm through with that thing. But as soon as we walk out the door we go right back to it. You don't have to worry about that pastor. I'm done with that. Huh. Until I get outside. I called my mother the other day and told her I love her. It was somebody else's mother. I don't even talk to my mother. I don't love my mother. I don't even like my mother. But how can God get you to the point I mean, it's finished when you have so many unresolved issues in your life? Does God get the chance to give you that new anointing that will allow you to overcome first you? Then to start to overcome and start to climb that mountain of love and help somebody else out at the same time. This walk that we're in is not it's not about us. We the ones who are claiming salvation. Who claim to be the chosen of Christ. Are some of the worst hypocrites that are walking around the street. But there are some. That have gotten to the end of finished part. They've gotten to the part of saying. Lord. If you use me, I promise I'll tell that thing it is finished. If you use me, I'll do whatever you want me to do. If you use me, I promise I'll be a better husband. If you use me, I'll give my wife the strength that she needs to proceed. My kids the strength to grow. We got more problems and not enough. It is finished. Yeah. Because the men are out of, uh, are out of sequence. Yeah, I said. They're out of sequence. And when the men are out of sequence, the authority of God is to have been skewed. Right. And we can never get to that. It is finished. Even though we have to establish a personal relationship with Him ourselves, but that's only the first part of it. We then have to establish a relationship with our brothers and sisters that we see every day. But how can we get this right when this isn't right? How can we explain to somebody the plan of salvation when we don't even know how to spell the word? How can we win somebody to Christ when we're not even a part of the kingdom ourselves? Because somebody told us growing up that you'll never amount to anything. But that today is finished. And if there's somebody in your family that continues on with that negativity, you tell it. It's finished. Now 
when are you going to stop playing with the devil? When are you going to stop giving the devil glory? When are you going to learn that it is finished means just that it is finished. There's no more to it. This that's it. That's all what it is. That's done. I'm through with that. I'm finished. When is the church going to start to understand that all the division that's going on in church is over, it's finished, it's done? You better be careful because this could become the same mountain that the children of Israel stood by. And they can open up the church house. And everybody that's not in position will be gone. It is finished. We need to stop playing with God. Yes. We need to stop thinking that it's all about us. Right. We need to stop lying to people that Christianity isn't all that it's cracked up to be. We need to give, as the song said, ourselves away. Give somebody else a chance if you don't want to to come up and have a personal relationship with God. You're the blockade. Um, all right. You're the problem. But can you be honest with yourself and say that? Right. Or are you going to keep keep telling yourself? Many of our relationships are marriages. We have people that's in denial. Because they don't understand that if you just simply say it is finished and means there'll be a change in your household. And it doesn't matter who says it. It would be appropriate if the man would say it. But if he's not in the will of God and the woman that's, that, that's in the house or the child that's in the house is tired of what's going on and simply says, Lord, it is finished. I need you to come in here and take all of this If you know about this, uh, about this, this story, after Christ got the vinegar, which represented a lot of bitterness, a lot of bad things that, and I'm bringing to today, that comes into your life, he, he, he took that 